Hey, hi. Today we're going to be going through our um, entire series so far from our mountain pose and setting our intentions for our class through our balancing series. So first, um, step off your mat um, and recognize something that no longer serves you, um, a, um, a mindset or, or thought, um, and and go ahead and release that um, before you step on your mat. Um, and this is a practice that I've been, been getting into. Um, so I have one that I'm going to release as I step onto my mat. Um, and as we begin our practice, um, set an intention in mind for today is self-love. Um, and something that I've been um, visualizing with that is that on every inhale, we're breathing in love, right? We're bringing, breathing in prana. And on every exhale, we're breathing out love. Um, another um, maybe nice visualization, uh, visualization for, for breathing that I found recently. Um, for every inhale, imagine that you're breathing in a flower, right? You're smelling a flower. And on every exhale, you're blowing out a candle um, and perhaps making a wish. Um, so with that, we are gonna start with some breathing exercises. Um, and go ahead and bring your hands together. Um, and our lungs um, expand with every breath and contract with every exhale. So we're going to be um, using our hands just to help us visualize that expansion and contraction. So go ahead and clasp your fingers and bring your hands underneath your chin. And on every exhale or every inhale, you're going to bring your arms up parallel to your chin. And on every exhale, bring your arms back together and your chin up. So the full breathing um, exercise looks like this. And you can combine that with your ujjayi breathing, right? The contraction of your throat, making a, um, a sound on every inhale and a whisper sound on every exhale with your mouth closed. And one more breath and we're gonna come back to our mouths and begin in mountain pose. So every pose um, that we do in yoga, um, it's active, right? So even though um, you could approach this as just a, a standing um, standing pose, um, you really just wanna make sure that all of your your muscles and your legs and your arms and your shoulders are back and, and down. But your muscles are really, you are contract, contracting your muscles. Um, and imagine um, a mountain that you've seen in your life um, and gather the strength of that mountain as we go through our practice. We're going to move into our sun salutations. Um, so come to the front of your mat and we're going to begin by um, standing a mountain and bring your arms up above your head and again you are um, not just bringing your arms up, go ahead and push into your arms and give a little bit of um, uh, engagement in your, in your upper arms and lift out of your, um, your hips. You're really lifting up here and stretching upwards to the sun, right? And as you fold forward, make sure that you're folding forward not just from your back, but really tilting from your hips so you can um, bring, your, uh, bring your torso close to your hips. We're gonna begin in our first forward fold. Really loosen it up, shake it out here. <sighs> Maybe wiggle your knees, give some love to your knees. 
Um, and you should also just realize that you should never feel pain in the back of your knees because there are no muscles in the back of your knees. There's just muscles around it. So this stretch, you should be really feeling in your hamstrings, which is above your knees. So if you do feel any tension in the very back of your knees, you're gonna wanna give it a bend. Um, and, and bend more from your hips than from your, um, from your knees. So one more deep breath in, and then we're going to step our right leg back into a lunge. And make sure that you have a wide enough base. You don't wanna be on the tightrope here. You wanna still be hips distance apart so you can rise up. Um, and imagine that you are bringing your thighs in together. You're really engaging those muscles. You're not out. Um, you really wanna bring them in again so you can protect your knees. Go ahead and once you have that stable base, bring your arms up. Again, we're pressing into our arms um, with our hands by our ears to our first lunge, our first high lunge. And we're gonna take it back, bend backwards, stretching up your arms to the ceiling. And we're going to revolve this lunge. So bring your arms um, in together with a prayer and go ahead and twist first from your, um, your uh, hips and your torso, you're twisting. You're not just bringing your upper body, but you're bringing your entire um, midsection over. So you're gonna twist to your left and then once you find your balance, bring it down. So you're really twisting your whole side. And come back up. And now we're going to reverse this lunge, bringing your arms behind you. And go ahead and look up. Breathing in, engaging. It's all right if your, your base is a little wiggly. Find that, that balance and that strength in your legs. And now we're gonna bring our um, arms down, your right arm down to um, the mat with your left arm revolving up. So you're gonna have a revolving bent knee triangle. And your, you can see your alignment. So your, um, your hand should be as if it was your 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 other foot. Um, so imagine that your right hand is in the place of where your right foot should be if you were walking. You know, so you're still creating that hips distance space, um, and that will make sure that your wrist is protected and there's um, equal balance on that. And go ahead and bring it up, and then now we're going to bring down your left hand and bring down your uh, right knee. So we're going into a lizard pose here. Ooh, and this um, is really, you're focusing on the muscles of your hips here, um, is where you should be feeling the stretch. Uh, and making sure that your knee is, is never uh, um, in front of your ankle. Um, to protect those those knees and we're really stretching out the um the inner hip muscles right here and you can stay up just like this or you could bring your arms down to the floor on your forearms um whichever is easiest for you and now we're going to carefully come back to a plank so you want to make sure that you're um not dragging this front leg across the front. You really wanna make sure that you're um, picking it up and then bringing it back. And we're gonna to come to a plank. And in plank, make sure that you're engaging um, your leg muscles and your arm muscles. And we're gonna come down chaturanga or knees, chest, chin to an up dog. Breathing with each movement. And then inhale and exhale back to a down dog. And this is your first down dog of class. So make it feel good for you. You can walk out your knees. You wanna make sure that your arms are 
um, engaged here in your legs and you have equal pressure on your legs and your arms. You're not just holding with either. Really pushing up that seat up. And on your next inhale and exhale, travel to the front of your mat. You can walk, step, or hop. And then bring your arms up again into mount, um, up above your head and back down into mountain. Get a little shake. Now we're gonna do that all again on the opposite side. I'm gonna talk a little bit less and we're just gonna flow through it. All right, so bringing your arms up above your head, engaging, teasing at your ears and dive forward, bending from your your hips folding forward make sure that your head is your forehead is facing your your shins and you're not looking stretching your neck forward really bending down here stretching bending stretching up and now we're going to take our left leg back and come up giving yourself that hips distance for your standing so you have tons of balance here. And bring your arms up. And we're gonna revolve this bent knee triangle to our right now. Again, twisting from your abdomen and not just from your upper back. Breathing in and on your exhale, come back up. Find your balance and take that your arms behind you, stretching upwards to the sun. Thank you, sun. And now we're going to um, bring your left hand down and um, your right arm up to the sky. Again, revolve bent knee triangle here. Breathing in and we'll come into lizard on this side really stretching out that hip muscles here and you might um, notice that one side is more tense than the other one so maybe you can come down to your forearms on the side or maybe you want to stay up here It'll make it feel good for you we carry a lot of tension in our hips especially as ladies and come down and again we're going to come back into plank making sure that your knee um, is safe by not dragging your foot you really want to pick it up and bring it back and then come into plank <sighs> engaging all your muscles making sure that your arms are not um, too much in your wrist you want to bring some um, of the weight into your fingertips too as if they were your um, your feet and then come down knees chest chin or Below all the way down and come back up into your upper dog, breathing in and breathing out to your down dog. And then breathe in on your exhale, travel up. You can walk, step, or hop. And if you're hopping up, making sure that you are traveling lightly with your feet, folding forward and come up. arms back down to your side give it a little wiggle now as our sun salutations again giving gratitude to the sun and now we're going to move on now that we've given some love to the sun we're going to give our equal attention to the to the moon so we're going to move on to our our half moon series of postures so come to the um, middle of your mat um, facing long ways and go ahead and bring your arms up Again, we're stretching out, engaging these arms and our feet are together here and we're going to move our hips, your left hip to the left side, stretching and creating a crescent shape with your, your upper body, with your whole body. Oh, and you should be feeling the stretch right here and it should feel really really nice we're stretching out that that side body breathing in coming up 
and we're going to take it over to the right. Really extending out of your, your hips here. Coming back up, we exhale. And now we're going to do a, take that same movement, but backwards. Extending, and I'll just turn this way so you can see. We're creating a back bend with our upper back, our middle back. Really pushing those hips forward too. And every time in yoga we do a back bend, we should also do a forward bend. So we're gonna go ahead and take the same movement and come down. Again, we're always bending at the hips in this, these forward folds, bringing our chest to our upper thighs. And come back up, back to mountain. All right, now that we've got some water, we're gonna move into our warrior series of postures. Um, remembering that the warrior has equal parts balance, strength, and flexibility, right? So we're really working on all of these different, um, different areas of our lives when we're in these postures. So we're gonna come to the um, long ways of your mat, come, come facing this way, and bring your feet about um, four, feet, uh, your feet four feet apart. Um, you want to give a nice wide stance here and we're going to now take your right leg and shift it, um, right foot shift it towards the front of the mat so you can come into this um, warrior position with your feet, warrior two, and bring your arms up. Really engaging your, your legs here. Finding that balance and strength as you engage your legs. And now we're gonna take it back to a reverse warrior. Coming back up from our peaceful warrior, I'm gonna turn your um, right foot back in and do a forward fold, bringing your head down towards the mat. And we're gonna do our warrior on the left side. So bring your left foot and face it towards the front of the other side of the mat and bring your arms up and go ahead and reverse that warrior. Bringing it back up, facing your foot forward and another forward fold. coming back up and now we're going to move into our triangle series of postures we're moving this leaf from my mat hello leaf um, so for these postures you're going to want to make sure again that your hips are your feet are hips distance apart and you can do that by coming to the back of your mat and just taking a step and your natural step is somewhere close to your hips distance apart so go ahead and bring your right foot forward in that hips distance um, for a triangle um, and forming a, a triangle with your with your legs and you're going to bring your arms up and taking your left arm to the inside of the right foot we're going to do a revolve triangle by bringing your right arm up so you're twisting and you should be feeling the stretch both in the back of your hamstrings and also um, this is also a side stretch, right? And bringing your torso forward, breathing and coming back up. And we're gonna do this on the other side. So bring your um, left foot over to the side and bringing your right arm down to meet it on the inside of your left foot, revolving that triangle up. And coming back up. All right, and then now we're going to 
Um, go back to your um, right side. We're gonna do a little bit of a flow, switching back and forth from our right to our left, and then come into our three locks pose. So if you've worked with your bandhas, um, we're gonna be engaging our three bandhas. Um, but if you don't know what that means, go ahead and just um, work with your um, your pelvic floor muscles. You're gonna be engaging your pelvic floor muscles, engaging your abdomen, and bringing your chest, uh, your chin to your chest, and your arms up. And don't hold your breath, um, but keep those locks engaged as you come forward and bend down. And bring it back up, releasing first your pelvic floor muscles, then your chest, um, and then your chin up. And we're gonna come to the other side. Again, uh, engage your pelvic floor muscles, your abdomen muscles, bring your chin to your chest, and come down. And coming back up. Now we're gonna switch back over to our right side. And you can either um, uh, clasp your hands behind you like this. Um, you could use a towel if you want more length here, or if you can, um, bring your hands to meet at the back. And we're coming to a little bit of a um, awkward folding forward. Again, we're coming down, bending out our, our hips, stretching that back of the leg. Coming back up, and we'll just move it to the other side. Coming back up, release your arms, give a shake out, maybe grab some more water. And, and now we're gonna move back into our flow with our chair series. So go ahead and bring your feet together facing um, the forward of, forward of your mat. And you want to um, uh, bring your, your legs together and and maybe your thighs touch, maybe they don't. Um, but you wanna make sure that your feet are touching if possible as you come down, bring your seat down as if you're sitting into an imaginary chair. So really, there's a lot of weight in your heels and not very much weight at all in your the front of your feet. And you can really tip backwards until maybe you start to fall out of it. Maybe you know that that's where your, your edge of your chair is. Breathing here, engaging your muscles, bring, coming up, coming back up. And now we're gonna go into a, the victory pose and think of um, something in this, in this past week or maybe today even, or recent past that you have been victorious over or something that you are getting victory over right now. I just want to take a moment to um, celebrate our bodies and our ourselves as as victorious. As you bring your um, feet up, or so you're balancing on your tiptoes, and bring your arms up and really stretch through the whole thing. Imagine that you're on a podium, um, receiving an award for your victory. And come back down. And now we're gonna go into to Eagle Pose. Um, and there's many different variations of this. Um, you can have your um, foot on your calf. Um, you could have it um, on your inner thigh, but just make sure that you don't have um, any, any pressure on your knee. You don't ever wanna bring your um, leg to your, your foot to your knee. So you could either have it um, on your upper thigh or your, your calf. And once you've found um, wherever your tree is today, wherever your branch um, is, you can bring your arms um, to heart center here, um, pressing in, or you could bring your arms up, maybe growing out your branches a little bit more. Um, and doing this is going to change the center of gravity. So. Pay attention to how that 
feels and where, where that shift is. And as trees move in the wind, um, we, we might also move in this pose. I'm out, outside now and there's, there's some wind and there's some trees moving, so don't feel the need to find stillness in this posture. Um, just find stillness inside, but you can, your body can be moving. And come back down. And we're gonna do that same posture on the left. So bring your um, left foot into your thigh or your lower calf muscle. And coming up. Hmm, perhaps thinking about the connection between humans and trees. Um, they give us oxygen and we give them CO2 and we, when we're breathing. So we really do have a, a deep connection with trees. Hmm. Maybe a little gratitude for, for them as we come back. Release your, your legs and your arms. Shake it out with some goodness. Um, and now we're going to go into um, a water break and then into our balancing series of postures. All right, and now that we're back from our water break, we're going to go into our balancing series, remembering that we're not just using balance, we're using um, our strength and our flexibility all um, are playing in here. So we're also balancing those elements of our practice. So first we're going to come to our um, standing big toe pose. So I'll face this way, but you can be facing the front of your mat. And you're going to bring your, um, start with your right leg and bring it up parallel to the mat. And um, you could stay here. This is wonderful. Find balance here first if you don't feel balance here. Um, but if you feel ready and you feel like a little bit more, you can grab for your big toe and come up. Maybe you balance here. And then after you've done this and you feel balanced and you want more, you can bring your toe up. And maybe that's enough for you today. And when you feel ready, come back out, coming down, and we're gonna do that on the left side. So again, bring your left leg parallel up. Stay here. This is wonderful. That might be what I feel like doing today. Or when you're ready, come down. You can grab your big toe. Stay here. Find balance here first. And when you're ready, when you feel like you want to, you can extend your leg. And come back out when you're ready. <sighs> a little shake out, kindness for yourself. And now we're gonna go into um, standing um, forehead to uh, knee pose. So, so we're gonna come in. Um, again, you wanna bring your, start with your right leg, bring it up and um, make a little shelf with your feet. And feel the connection here between your upper thigh and your chest and keep that connection that connected point as you extend your leg and then the last step is bringing your forehead to your knee and come back out and do that on the left side so we bring our left leg up create a little shelf and then we're going to extend our knee and then bring our forehead to our knee. Then come back out when you're ready. And then now we're going to go into dancer pose. So for that, we're going to um, start with your right leg and bring your heel to your, your, your booty and then grab your um, inside of your foot and maybe you stay right here or if it feels good if you again want to bring the time word you can tip forward and as you tip forward really push
push your foot into your back hand, creating that counterbalance. So you can tip forward. So maybe you come there and then come back out gracefully as possible. Maybe it's a little bit of modern dance. And we're gonna do that on our left, our left side. Bring balance first as you bring your, your foot up. And tipping forward, kicking into that back knee, that back hand. And come back out. All right, now that we have a little bit of our dancer energy, we're gonna move into our warrior energy by going into our warrior three. So come face forward on your mat and to start bring your right foot a little behind you, um, creating a little bit of a balance and bringing your arms up, come into a little bit of a back bend. In a mat, you can imagine that you have a sword uh, raised above your head. And as you bring your sword down, Make sure you're engaging your arms and as you tilt forward, your right leg can come up with you. And you're really balancing, pushing through those legs, pushing through that arm um, for your warrior three. And as you breathe, come back up. And we're gonna do that same posture on the left side. So go ahead and bring your left foot a little behind you finding stability on that right leg, bending back a little bit with your sword and tipping forward, engaging your standing leg, your back leg coming up, reaching your arms forward. And coming back up. And now our um, last posture in the series, we're gonna do a little bit of a squat. So find um, a comfortable distance between your legs, um, enough for you to be able to squat down and feel this release in your hips, but also keeping your heels on the floor is more important. So if, um, if your heels aren't on the floor, adjust your legs so that you're able to keep them there. And maybe you stay right here. Um, this is really healing for us because we don't have this motion a lot in, in the West anymore, um, but our bodies are designed to move this way and to squat down. So you can squat down further um, and you can stay right here. This is um, perfectly really good for you. Or if it's in your practice and you feel like doing it today and it's fun for you, you can move into either crow or crane or any kind of variation that you like. Um, and really allow yourself to play. So um, I'm gonna come into crow pose, bring my feet together, creating a little shelf with my arms. And then maybe one foot comes off for you, maybe both. Um, maybe it just comes off for a second. And play, play around with it. Find that balance. And when you're ready, come back up, coming to your squat, and bring your leg, arms back up. And we're gonna come back to mountain, right where we started in our practice. <sighs> Breathing in and out, giving yourself gratitude for showing up today. As we move into our um, resting poses, we're gonna move down to the, to our, be seated on our mat. Um, for the rest of our practice. So thank you so much. Um, and we'll come back for the, for the floor series. All right, thank you.